At number one, we have a food that sneaks in some gluten, and that's brown rice syrup. While brown rice is always gluten-free, this syrup may contain some hidden gluten. This is because it can contain barley, which is a grain that does contain gluten. Instead, look for a bottle that specifically says gluten-free. Number two, potato chips. We know this can be a tough one, but you don't need to give it up. Potatoes are naturally gluten-free, however, it's the seasoning sometimes that will get you. In some cases, the seasoning can contain wheat starch or malt vinegar. Make sure the bag says gluten-free on it. Moving on to number three is gravy. Yes, that favorite sauce you put over turkey may be packing some gluten in there. If you're buying gravy packets, it can contain flours which are an obvious source of gluten. You might want to try making your own gravy and using cornstarch instead, or make sure it says gluten-free on the gravy before you buy it. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram at healthyourself underscore YT, and comment down below saying I subscribed, and we'll make sure to respond as we post short videos every two days. Number four is soy sauce. Yeah, not probably what you were thinking of, but if you're a sushi fan, listen up. One of the main parts of soy sauce involves the use of wheat, which obviously is a big no-no for anyone who is celiac. Try looking for an alternative called gluten-free tamari. At number five, do you like soups? Well, you might want to watch out for those bouillon cubes. It may not seem obvious that there would be gluten in these small cubes, however, they do contain an ingredient called maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a gluten product. Even soups in general can be dangerous as most creamy soups have flour added to them to thicken them up. You may want to try making your own soup stock instead. Coming in at number six, we have processed meats. Anything like meatballs, sausages, or meatloaf often contain some wheat-based fillers. Some burgers have breadcrumbs added to help them stick together more as well. Even things like imitation crab found in sushi may contain small amounts of gluten as well. Finally, at number seven, watch out for those granola bars. They're a part of everyone's routine for a quick on-the-go snack, but people who have a gluten allergy may want to read the labels carefully. Most granola bars will contain gluten-free grains like oats and millet. However, a large amount of them contain malt extract or syrup as a sweetener. This is a huge problem for anyone who has a gluten intolerance, so make sure to check the label for the words gluten-free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite part and we'll make sure to respond. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of healthy eating tips, nutrition facts, and much more.